the Battle of Dale, which took place in the War of the Ring in 3019, uh, which is a battle between the Eastlings and the Dwarves of Erebor and the Men of Dale. So, welcome. I am Pope John Paul, and we are here with a historical recreation of the Battle of Dale. We are using the Battle of the Five Armies map, so Dale is a little bit beaten up. Uh, so it's obviously like during the period of the Hobbit, but we are recreating uh, the Battle of Dale to the like the most accurate as we can. Um, this battle took place at the same time as the Battle of Minas Tirith, so they're kind of sim simultaneous siege battles. And uh, yes, it is between two hundred thousand Eastlings. Fortunately, we can't get two hundred thousand Eastlings on the battlefield against a hundred thousand dwarves and fifty thousand men of Dale. So we have the first dwarven army here with a selection of Dalian troops over here as well. So we have some Dale swords here. We have some pikes in behind, some bardings. We have some Dwarven Axe Warriors here. And then over on this side we have the Eastlings getting ready and readying up. They're getting uh, into position. We have two Eastling armies attacking over here. And we have a third attacking the city of Dale itself, defended by Dalian troops, as you can see inside here. And we have a third and final uh, army for the good forces, another dwarven army, uh, which is supposedly supposed to be inside the Lonely Mountain. It's getting ready to push out when the time comes. So in the in history, uh, the Battle of Dale cost the lives of Day Nine Foot. Which, if you've seen the Battle of the Hob, uh, if you've seen the Battle of the Five Armies in the Hobbit, then the guy that's on the pig with the big hammer, that's Dane. Um, he takes the throne of the Lonely Mountain and uh, he dies along with Bran, uh, not Bran, um, Bard's uh, grandson, which is called Brand. So uh, he also dies, unfortunately. So uh, it's quite a costly victory in history for the good forces. Um, they do manage to win after these things get disheartened after losing, um, after hearing about the Minas Tirith and the failure there of Sauron. They then uh, lose heart and the forces of the Dwarves and the and the Men of Dale push out and seize victory. So we're going to recreate this. I've uh, decided to recreate this with people on the Discord. So if you haven't already, do join the Discord down below. And you can have a chance to join some of these epic battles we are recreating at currently. Um, it already looks like a unit of Vinland Watchmen has been focused down here. Already down to 54, being focused down by the Eastling Archers. A great decision because these pikes are going to be huge. For the uh, defense of this huge line that they're defending here. We already have artillery coming in. That was an excellent hit. Look at all those dwarves being hit there. That was really good. And that's what we want to see. Um, but if you haven't also, do remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And also leave a comment um, to show you guys support. I do appreciate all the comments. And I do make sure to read them all. And if possible, reply to them all as well. I mean, these are watchmen again, absolutely beaten up right now. I mean, we've got Bardings back here, also loosing every arrow they can. We have uh, some Dalian marksmen as well. These guys look awesome. Volley! Let's have a volley. Or not. There we go, loose. Some of them are firing, some of them aren't. Uh, more fiery balls of justice. We're also getting assault over here by on the walls. So, uh, a large chunk of the wall was taken out, and this unit here... Just got absolutely beaten up by like the rubble that fell down on them. It's down to 34 before it's even seen combat. An excellent hit there. Uh, actually, no, it wasn't. Just a bit short, I'd say. But we have plenty of daily in swordsmen here ready in the breach. We have some Varig footmen ready and they're going in just now. So the first engagement will be at the battle. Uh, battling over Dale itself, the city. It's pretty beaten up. But um, I'm sure that the men of Dale will defend it well and strong. So we have plenty of Varric footmen coming up. They're the uh, weaker units. Our most elite units are the Loki Rim Warriors. But they are uh, going to be our reserves. We have a Varric footman here going in. There is some Loki Rim in here just to stiffen the attack. But uh, they're against er Spear Guards of Erebor. And they're pretty strong. So we may have a, a long and uh, a long battle here at this front line. It's a th very thin line, but it's made of dwarves. We've got some pikes coming up here. Some... Uh, so there'll be uh, another tough test for the men of the east to break through. So 
So I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, staying safe during these uh, trying times. I hope I can entertain you with some more epic battles from Middle Earth and uh, keep you occupied. In I'm, I can, I'm sure you guys are running out of things to do. I, I mean, I certainly am, personally. So uh, these awesome battles and recording for you guys is uh, certainly keeping me occupied. So uh, I thank you all for the support. Oh, that was definitely not a worthy hit. That one, uh, some friendly fire in there. I mean, it did hit some pikes, but it also was pretty brutal and hitting uh, quite a few of our own men. So I do thank you all for the support. We're nearly at 1300 while I'm uh, speaking here. We may have actually hit 1300 by this point. Um, but yeah, just you guys keep it up with support. Leave a like and a sub, and that will be much appreciated. Another great hit here, hitting more dwarves. Them being sent in, so they can't be attacked in combat. We have some halberds coming up already from lo the Loki room. We've also just got like a unit of footmen here. He's just going to stand back and let these guys get shot. Not a bad idea. Shoot all this front line as much as possible. We do have the cavalry advantage. We have some units of uh, cavalry here and here. And we have the artillery advantage as well. We have all the artillery. Another great hit here. These arable axe warriors getting absolutely focused down. Great. Great to see. Firing on these uh, varic footmen over here as well. They're not getting a great hit at these. Uh, actually, these are the bardings. Um, the arable crossbows weren't getting great hits. They were, like, not in a great position. They actually are getting focused down a little bit. Oh, some brutal shots. These arable uh, iron guards here, or spit iron... Spear Iron Guards, there you go. A long a long name. But they're holding them back. They're the weaker units. These ones are ones added by the uh, Rise Mortar sub mod. Um, while most of the Dwarven units are from the main Rise of Mordor mod. I do love this Lord of the Rings action. It is great. And I, I can see you guys enjoy it as well um, from the responses I get so far. But I mean, it just looks a beautiful mod. It just—I feel like I'm immersed in Middle Earth. It does look great. Keep fighting hard, men. Keep fighting hard. And there you go. These guys is like pulling out, and these airborne iron guards, iron guards, they pulled out to like carry on the attack here. They cost them. They're getting focused down by uh, Varric footmen. Or Varig archers, I should say. And then we have some Varig warriors in here. Gonna get a charge off on these uh, spear guards. That will be okay initially, but this is a shock infantry unit. It may cost them. And we've got more men here retreating. They're gonna try and lure these men out. Gonna try and get the cavalry to swoop in and do some damage. And as you can see here, Dale being so severely damaged, it's actually 79% damage is costing them 10 morale so that could be huge in the long run for the defenders but they are dwarves so they're a tough bunch but Dale's also looking like it's holding pretty well over here in its city Easterlings is having a tough time breaking through with arch support from deep inside the city we'll have a look look at these guys over there. they can't even really see the enemy I mean they can sort of see the enemy if you were like one of the guys here you can see what's going on. But, I mean, most of the unit can barely see. They're just being told fire blindly in there. And there's a... Uh, I mean, there's a big bunching of Eastlings. I wouldn't have set all these Eastlings up here. And I kept them a bit further back so they aren't getting shot. But they're doing a good job. Doing a good job. As Dale and holding these low-key rim back. So let me know in the comments who you're rooting for. Are you rooting for the Eastlings or are you rooting for the forces of good? Are you rooting for, like, the Dwarves and the Dale? Are you, do you believe they have a chance in holding back this horde of evil men? As they're slowly breaking through here, Spear Guards of Erebor are being chopped down by the Varig Warriors. Got a unit of Erebor Iron Guards here, also not looking so great, but there's some breakage going on over here. We have Varig Warriors breaking. Calvary's now coming in as well. This will be huge. Calvary charge. 
into the spears of Dale and some pikes as well. They're not quite set up. We've got some axe warriors coming from Erebor. And here we go. We have a unit that's going to sneak through because there is a gap here in the line. And it snuck through the lines and we have them in behind and they are attacking the Bardings. So not a bad target to go after. Bardings are a very good unit. They're a heavy bow infantry unit. It's actually pretty good in combat. So this unit is getting slowly chopped down. They've got little ammo left, so I guess it's not the end of the world. Um, Erebor Axe Warriors here just standing. They really need to give, be given the attack order to go in. But, um, I mean, now we have Eastlings in behind. Varig Lancers are in behind and doing going to do some damage. And we have a uh, Varig Footman unit in behind as well. So this line of Dwarves is starting to break a little bit. They're going to need to sort this out soon as possible. Old Dwarven Brothers. I mean, there's another great charge from the Varig Lancers. They're down to about half strength, but they basically annihilated that Barding unit down to 48 men. Got some Marksman of Dale also ready. I mean, there's a general here that is up for office as well. He can definitely be hit. Grim Hammers as well, so he's not great in a melee and missile defense. Erebor Axe Warriors here. Also being focused down. Look at this thin line of Erebor Spear Guards, Iron Guards, sorry, Spear Iron Guards, being, they're just getting focused down. But not a bad angle over here from the uh, crossbows of Erebor, they're not actually really shooting, barely any of them are shooting. They're clearly not getting a great angle, but um, these guys are they're not in a bad position, their, ang like their visibility is not great. All they can barely see any, they can see some of these men, but not many. But uh, it does look great, look at that epic, like... Bird's eye view, you can see all the men, just like all the little dots down there, it looks amazing. Um, and there you go, another great charge from the Varig Lancers. Um, they broke this unit here of Dalian Spear Guards and then they're just pulling through to the safety. And we're now inside their lines with Halberds set up, ready. And we need to surround this unit over here, these Dalian Swords. As we have more marksmen joining the fight. Excellent charge there from more Varig Lancers again. These uh, Vinland Watchmen are basically broken. They're just kind of broken and stood there. But the front line on the left-hand side is breaking where Dale is. Dale is the weaker of the two forces, so uh, a great place to focus down. The Dwarves may need support here, but uh, with what forces they have on this front line. Because you have to remember that that reinforcement force cannot be used until Dale... Is pushed out of the city and they are pushed back from here. So it's very much a last stand force. So the dwarves and Dale have to do enough damage to the Eastlings um, that that force will have them have make a difference. But also the Eastlings can't lose too many men. That it's an impossible job for them to get through here. Because I'd say if this army was like, if they're even with this army, like in numbers at the end, then the dwarves will win this. Because the dwarves will be fresh. Um, they're also dwarves, so they're very OP. But uh, yeah, so we'll see. I mean, technically balance of power is in favor, is uh, even. But it's really in favor of these things because it's three armies against two. And uh, as we have a look over here, it looks like Dale is being well and truly defended. They've pushed the Loki rim out. So clearly... Uh, the Eastling player here is having a much more of a struggle to try and get through here. He's got a small engagement over here going on. Varric Footman um, chopping down some Dalian Spear Guards, but they're doing a good job in holding them back. This is really the choke point they need to break through. If they can get some archers up here and uh, more, and maybe some artillery. I mean, there's artillery still here with plenty of ammo. I've focused down some of these units, certainly these Dalian Swords. Here we go. Ah, uh, it's missed. It's well and truly missed. It's hit, hit well and truly behind the enemy lines. But we have a plain... Look at this. This is a real concern here. The right is fully gone. So these things are broken through here. We are uh, struggling over here. I am playing as this Eastling army. And we're struggling here very much. We have uh, some daily marksmen now coming out to come and focus down this flank. And it's certainly helping in uh, supporting this attack. 
Artillery is still trying to hit as they retreat. And the cavalry is just looking for targets. The general for the dwarves has had a little bit of a beating up as well. He's under 68 men. But it's looking rough here. I mean, these uh, cavalry units here are just chopping up these bardings. Poor Dale. Poor Dale. I don't, can't even see any of the men in there. But they're gone. So, I mean, it already looks like the dwarves are falling back. And wanting to uh, basically make a last stand over here. I'd say it's a little bit premature from uh, the dwarves. They definitely could have made a defensive line here. And uh, certainly saved their flank. Yes, the cavalry's in behind, but all you have to do is just kind of turn a few units around. They have reserves here. You see the pikes and they have uh, bardings. They can certainly turn themselves around and defend the flanks. They could certainly chop up most of these men. But falling back, they're just allowing themselves to get attacked by uh, the Eastlings as they fall back. And surrounded. As this is about to happen to this axe, Erebor Axe Warrior unit. Another carry charge coming on over here. Yeah, it's not bad. Some bad volleys here. Some good. Not some bad volleys at all. And here we go. Oh, dear. These guys are just going to get charged down. Poor dwarves. This wasn't enough. So they are going to get a charge. But these, are, these crossbows aren't too bad. Like, dwarves are pretty well armored. They are losing decisively currently. Oh, my gosh. The numbers are dropping. But they might stabilize. They're not bad in combat. And they're wavering this unit here. They're charging on into the next one. Not bad. I mean, certainly will silence them, but really they need to sort out, save this area here. These units here are wavering, and that's a real concern. More cavalry over here. Quite a few units are going to get back, but it seems, of this uh, first dwarven army. So uh, very much the coward falling back, not going to defend the lines with his own men. But he's got some units here that are going to try and surround Loki Rim and some Varric Footman. And that, that'll that certainly help in the uh, grand scheme of things. But they are the sword unit, the Iron Guard, so they're not great. They're the probably the worst unit available to the dwarves. Look at them, they're so tall in comparison to the dwarves, it's insane. More units falling back. Desperately trying to get back. The pikes being harassed as they go back as well. 80 men left. Jeez. And yet, okay, so the cavalry over here charged in and it's basically saved this infantry line. This unit's slowly dying. Um. Even though it's losing decisively, dwarves still die slowly. And now it would seem that the uh, Eastling forces have kind of pushed in. I'd say quite well. Dale has fallen back to this next sort of like choke point here. Unfortunately, it seemed that uh, the Eastlings can continue to put men on this wall. So they can get archers up here. Which is a real shame. But he's just going to have to order his men to just shoot over this wall and hit this huge blob of Dalian troops. Which is a big blob. But here they are, beautiful Varig footmen. Oh, beheading. Very nice. The officer for Dale looks really cool. He, he's got like a centurion type hell, uh, like plume going on. Roman centurion sort of style. It's kind of cool. Still going to take a little bit of time to break through this. There's a lot of Dalian troops there. And they've got more marksmen back here. They've got plenty more spears as well by the looks of it. Actually, yeah, they've got a lot of reserves back here. 
And this is the main capture point, but uh, the aim is not to capture this. Um, obviously, these things would love to do so, but uh, we've decided the last life. stand should be over here by uh, Erebor. So that's kind of where it's going to happen. It's going to come down to this final fight here. As you can see, this main infantry line of Eastlings is being uh, dealt with. But it's uh, whether it's whether we can um, save enough men, I guess, to break through it. We're running out of cavalry. But we're getting some good charges in on those uh, spear guards of Erebor. This is a unit that's already been rear charged twice. It shows how insanely strong these dwarves are. And look at the amount of Eastlings that are dead here. So many Eastlings dead. These dwarves. It's only one unit's held them back. It's ridiculous. As another unit does hit the same here. Don't mess with the dwarves. One bit of life advice for you there. If you ever come across an uh, Erebor dwarf, don't mess with him. He will kill you. We've got another charge here. Some Varag glances coming in. Not a bad charge, but not a great charge. It's kind of into the side of the unit. They are slowly breaking. There they go. They have, they have uh, broken. So we have broken this front line. That is excellent. So it's going to come down to this uh, Erebor army over here, certainly. Unless Dale can pull off a miracle and beat this uh, Eastling army. But he's massively outnumbered. He's getting focused down by arrows now. Focus down. Oh. Keep up the good fight, men. For King Brand. Got halberds in here. They'll certainly be making a difference. Do they look like they're falling back? Are they broken? No, they're just falling back. Okay. But yeah, there's quite a few units breaking a day in swords. Marks and Dale losing here. Spear guards, they're certainly not going to survive. Got more marksmen coming in here. Come on, men. For the Kingdom of Dale. Is it a kingdom? I guess it's just a city. It's kind of like just a, a city, really, isn't it? Do they have a king? They have king. So I guess it is a kingdom, but it's a very small kingdom. Then again, Erebor is not a, a big kingdom either. We have uh, crossbows over here in a great position. This is a really good position for the crossbows. On a bit of a ridge, able to overlook their own men. Focusing down these low key rim archers. This unit is like, apparently this unit was at full strength and it's got full ammunition. It's going to absolutely focus down currently. But uh, yeah, the dwarves are looking okay at the moment. They've got uh, the balance of power. I mean, there's a thousand, just under a thousand extra men for the men of the Eastlings right now. They're going to need to make a, uh, a bit of a push through here and not lose too many men if they want to keep an advantage. But there's plenty more units already here and like defending other parts of Dale ready. God, they look awesome. Dale is one of my favorite looking factions. I don't, don't know what it is about them. They just look awesome. Oh, beautiful. Those shields, so much detail on them. It's gorgeous. But yeah, there you go. Two more units wavering and breaking. And there's just marksmen left. These guys should really not be able to hold up. Hold up. Archers need to just hold their fire for these things. This is a huge army that's getting ready over here for these things. They've got catapult ammo left. Really good. Um, have we got, and we've got an onager over here that can move over. That's really good as well. You need every bit of onager ammo possible. Look at this long line of dwarves, though. Long line of dwarves. That's a lot of dwarves going to have to kill. 
There's a long time left in this battle, so I hope you guys are enjoying and you've got plenty of snacks and drinks. Because uh, there's still a fair amount left in it. As the Dalian forces still battle on this, in this street. Hold the line! This battle, this battle apparently was very important in the battle like for Middle Earth because if Dale had been lost, apparently it would have meant that Rivendale, the Shire, Mirkwood, or well, yeah, the Elves of Mirkwood um, would have all been under threat if Dale had been lost, and obviously Erebor itself, um, and it may have turned the, the war in favour of Sauron, certainly in the north. Obviously, in the south, Minas Tirith is lost. Well, the Battle of Minas Tirith is lost, not Minas Tirith. They never had Minas Tirith to start with. But, um, was lost, so... It may have turned the favour, the war in favour of, uh, evil, certainly in this theatre. And maybe it would have meant that the good forces had to focus more... More men up here, more armies, who knows. How did this unit get behind? This very footman unit. Oh, he went round here. That should have happened a long time ago. He went all the way around, like, round here. Uh, and then surrounding. That's not a bad idea. It's certainly going to have saved a lot of lives doing that. But, uh, I mean, I certainly wouldn't have... Uh, I would have done that a lot earlier, I think. This daily marksman unit is already on two chevrons. It's insane. Look at the destruction that happened to Dale. God damn it, Smaug. Why did he have to destroy a great prosperous city? People lived here, you know. And here we go. Dale is about to be destroyed. Hold them back. Everyone must fight to the last man. Apart from that guy, he's a very disappointed. Look at him. He's just so so upset. His poor city's been sacked once again. Oh, nice beheading there. Just caught that. Here we go. I can hear the low-key rim and the rest of the Varric footmen pressing their advantage. And they're broken. The uh, Marksmen of Dale are gone. So Dale is almost taken. And at this point, we thought Dale was gone. I thought, like, all the defenders of Dale taken. But then uh, we found, obviously, we didn't know that there was more Bardings. There's more uh, Dalian spear guards. And there's more uh, Bardings over here with ammo. All of concern, and the general unit over here, a Vinland Guard unit. So, uh, yeah, we were kind of concerned. We were like, oh dear, this is not a good sign. Um, when we fi eventually found them. But we are slowly just waiting. We're kind of waiting for the Dalian army, uh, or the uh, army that's attacking Dale to come over here. So we can basically 3v1 and a bit this army. Because there is a bit of the, uh, re like the retreated Dwarven army that's back here. We've got Erebor Axe Warriors that have fallen back and are ready to hold. Along with General, which I'm pretty sure is over here. Yeah, he's defending the Lonely Mountain. Bit bloodied up, but he'll survive. Band's power save is ever so slightly in the favour of the Army of Evil. They have 800 men advantage, but I can easily change with an army of dwarves at your back. Look at this, Loki Rim getting ready, coming up this hill. Searching for more units. These bardings though look awesome as well. I mean, De like I said, Dale, one of the most like good-looking factions I think in this. It was one of the earliest done, but it does look goddamn awesome. This officer, for instance, there he goes ordering his men. Pull back, men! Pull back. So it looks like you're going to defend the uh, capture point. 
Obviously, we can't take it, but we've just got to annihilate every unit that's here. So, it's about four units defending it. Actually, five if you include the general who's all the way back there. So, really, this army of these things should be able to defeat it. So I'm just going to quickly fast forward while this happens. I think these things, yeah, here he goes. He's setting up some troops. He's setting up, what's he setting up? Some Loki room. They're going to go in. Engage the enemy. Nope, falling back. I wouldn't have fallen back. Just charge. There's only two units of bardings here. These guys definitely won't hold against you. And here we go. Another engagement. These poor archers having to hold the line. Chop them down. Chop them down. Got bigger fish to fry. Also known as dwarves. I don't know if you can fry a dwarf, but... Maybe. Maybe you can fry a dwarf. Who knows? Maybe a delicacy in Mordor. But, I mean, they are holding strong. We're still waiting. There's been a bit of skirmishing going on. Like, these uh, crossbows keep coming forward, shooting us some of our men. We try and catch them with the cavalry, but really nothing's going on here. These units have been wavering since the battle over here on this main front line. Um, but, yeah, so we're just kind of, like I said, we're waiting. Still waiting on the East Thing army here. And he's now sending troops round this way. He's going to attack up this choke point here, try and uh, get a flank on these archers and spears. The archers here were losing. Still are, I'd say. Still are losing. It is low-key roaming up against Bardings. Uh, Bardings are okay in combat, but not against low-key rim. Low-key rim is still pretty damn strong. Holding the line. More Loki Rim being sent in here. Trying to flank round. If I, yeah, I'd certainly be trying to flank round if I was, uh, if I was uh, these things. I'd be making column formation, flanking round, surrounding this unit, break it quickly, and attack the spear guard, or just attack the spear guard head on on the flank. I'd also be pushing up here. These uh, two units of Loki Rim are just going on the road. They really need to push up infantry. Get these infantry up. Attack this. Daily and Spear Guard unit and flank it. My artillery's been occasionally firing as well. I mean, I think it's been on. Uh, I think it's just been focusing down on anything that's like pikes or whatever. There's another hit there. That one missed. Trying to hit crossbows back here. That would have been a really good hit. These crossbows are using a lot of their ammo though. Might need that for late game. But here we go. So the arch is coming forward. And this was a mistake made by this Easting player. He just sent up his archers on his own. And he's... They're about to get chased down by spears. And they're now falling back at the spears, but and that he didn't then focus them down to the Eastern player. Just retreated back. He really needs to just I don't know, he was being a little bit unaware of what was going on on that front. Good archer support here though. Shooting down the bardings. But he really needs to flank. Um he just sent the unit in to help support here and just make a bigger blob. Basic thing from Total War, if you you don't need a blob with units. Just hold the line. And then surround. Like, these two units here are quite happy just to surround, sit back here. If you just surround, like he's done it again here. Varag Bowman, surround these guys. They're not great in combat and they won't do well in head-to-head. -head, but if you surround them, they might be just fine. 
Got two units of uh, Dalian Spear Guard holding back here. They're having a rough old time. And it is costing us men. We have lost about another 300 just trying to get through that choke point. Get through that choke point. Or just in that latter stages. Um, and we desperately need to start attacking over here. We are still waiting. We're hoping that that other army can come over and make the difference. And my artillery shots just keep failing to hit. Keep failing to hit. Here we go, Halberd setting up. Come on, this Eastling army needs to break through. It's losing far too many men to these bardings. Because these Bardings are probably actually, like I said, okay in combat. They'll hold the line for a while. They'll take Loki room with them. Here we go. So we have Spears attacking here. Barrack Warriors and Footman holding the line here. He needs to attack with his Varag warrior unit. He needs to send it in. Send it in. Surround. Like, there's a perfectly good gap here. Just get in behind. Attack this uh, Stalin Spear Guard unit. Just break it. No, nope, he's just going to send it in to attack the front line. Not the worst idea. I mean, at least he's in there. But, I mean, you could surround with these units. I also don't know what he's doing with his reserves over here. He needs to get them forward. Get them closer. Because that's not really good. I mean, now you can see the Vinland Guards are going to surround. They're going to get through this gap and they're going to get around all these uh, these units. And there you go. He's got in. So well played by Dale here. He's got in behind. And he's attacking the uh, Varig Warriors on the side. The shock infantry, they won't like that. They will not like being attacked on the flank. That man didn't like it and he's dead. That's what it cost him. His life. I'm not quite sure how this spear guard unit is getting in behind. It's kind of forcing its way through. It might be a bit of a push through, I'm not quite sure. A battle between two civilizations. The free people and the not so free people. The call them enslaved almost. There's men versus men as well. Yes, they need to certainly sort out this flanking small flanking force here. But look at this, two units breaking for the Eastlings. And this is a huge problem. So they need to fall back these uh, halberds, get them back and start to yeah, defend this choke point here. Almost just so that the, uh, they can't get in. But it's causing a real problem. And we might need to look at this. Units are being sent back. The cavalry is being sent back to deal with that issue from the main army. It's going to allow the crossbows to come up and not have to worry about cavalry charging them because there's nothing quick enough to catch them. So we kind of left ourselves open, but we have to do it if we want to save this Eastling army over here. It's having an awful time trying to break through. It really is. Like, there's literally been this... Where is it? This flank has been on for ages. All they need is a small unit. Get around. You can flank that unit. But no. Being unaware to do so. Sadly. Some good volleys though from these slings. I mean they're focusing down these uh, Dalian spear guards in the rear. But they're already breaking through this Halberd unit.
Excellent volleys, actually. The, they focus the student down. They've done really well. That is brutal. Oh. I mean, it's not many Eastlings left. This is all that's left. 35 of them. And the small unit of Varric Bowman coming in to save the day. Breaking this daily and spear guard unit. They need to really focus on this one now. And yeah, look at this. So the Eastling army has decided to just vacate the city and just leave his units here and Dale just to do what he thinks. He thinks he's already won. Which is stupid because he hadn't. Cannot, you cannot give up or you can't, can't call it a day till the fat lady sings. And the fat lady hasn't sung. And these uh, Eastling, are, these Eastling units just aren't going to be enough. And we've got a small unit of Varig Lancers here. We've got some cavalry involved. We've got some more cavalry. Hopefully to do some damage. And crossbows over here. Doing their little bit. Yeah, these Loki room are getting absolutely focused down as well. It's a real shame. Really want to assault early, over here earlier. But, I mean, the Dalian army is just taking so long to get through. And still is. Cavalry's arriving. Small unit of Varig Lancers coming in. Not going to do much, but hey, it's it's here. That's what matters. It's just here. Over here, what's going on? We've got some Varig uh, Archers, I'm pretty sure. We've got some... Oh no, the Halberd's gone. They're not even here. They're not here to carry on the fight. Look at this man. Look at this man all on his own. A lonely little man. Lonely little man. He's like, I only wanted to serve Sauron. These goddamn dwarves have ruined that for me. The Halberds are over here instead. They're helping the cavalry out. Um, this is certainly a battle they can win. Archers versus Halberds is really win. It's even how heavy the archers are. Shouldn't really have a chance. Where is the rest of the cavalry relief force? It's over here. Okay. It may be enough. It looks like this unit might need to charge into the back of these Dalian Spear Guards. We have Loki Rim Archers getting ready. Stupid, really. He should have just... he could, If he put his full might against this army and actually started doing flanks instead of just assaulting head-on, he would have done really well and broken these, uh, these units really quickly. There's only four units, five units here to deal with. It's going to cost him the battle. Well, certainly not the battle, but certainly uh, a lot of lives. And here we go. Is the cavalry going to come in there? No. Where's it going? Where is the cavalry going? I think I'm sending the cavalry all the way around here. I'm going to flank this arch unit, and I'm just going to send them into the back of the general unit here. And break this general. Here we go. So the general, the Vinland Guard, he's holding his ground. He's actually doing okay in combat. 86. Remember, 86. And there we go. The charge coming in. Vinland Guard down to 81. And there we go. The unit starts to drop. Oh my gosh. It is dropping a lot. It's, this is the power of cavalry and flanking. I know this is cavalry, but if you did this with infantry... The same thing would start to happen, just a bit slower. And they're down to 59 because of that. And the cavalry unit there has pulled through, has got around. I don't know where that's come from. But the general unit, he's uh, still dying. He is still dying. But look, they pushed like this unit, these two units here, had actually killed most of the Loki Rim off. So many men have been lost. And it's now very, very even. It's barely an advantage. So well done to Dale. He's done a good job here in just denying that advantage for the Eastlings. With a couple of units. He hadn't done so great to start with. His army kind of got obliterated at the uh, front at the front over here and, uh, and that long line. But in these last couple of stages, defending the top part of Dale, been destructive. And there you go. The uh, general unit down to 43 and the general unit has just died 
Or General Ma General has just died. I suppose I'm General Man. Yes, he is a man. But yeah, we've cleaned up all the other units over here. But at what cost? These units were like really strong and like fresh. They had full ammo over here for these Loki Rim. He's going to focus down to the back of these units. There's no need to, but he is. Cavalry in here chopping these men down. I'm surprised they haven't broken already, Dale. Uh, the general, look, I mean, they are all losing decisively, but just surround these units with infantry. All he needs to do, surround with infantry. He's been begging out for it. It's not like Dale's actually made really good defenses. It's just like he defended here. There's so much gap you could have surrounded these guys with. So, yeah, there we go. Finally beaten is Dale. On this side over here, we've got archers focusing down. We've got uh, daily and crossbows getting focused down. Loki rim archers trying to chase them down. These terrible crossbowmen, they man, they just brutal, hard to defeat. And then we've got a bit of an engagement here. Loki rim archers engaging uh, some axemen of Erebor. And they're pulling back. This uh, unit didn't mean to engage there. But, I mean, jeez. Look at the amount of blood. This all came off the crossbows. And they still haven't, like, they've only lost a couple of men. Five men. And there we go. Dale is defeated. So, there, that is uh, that is basically it on that front. I'm going to fast forward. And just allow uh, the other Erebor army to set up. There you go. Another unit of Barrack Footman breaking. Unfortunately, for some reason, some of the units, just when they broke, just decided to stand where they were. So, like... This unit, just standing here. It's now out of its stance, but it's still breaking. Bit of a shame. We've got Loki room here. More Loki room over here. And Varig Warriors. Actually, this is all Varig Warriors. Oh, no, this is Loki room. 17-man unit. Jeez. And here we go. We've got more units of uh, the Army of Dale arriving. They're slowly coming out of this city. And as you can see, there's nothing left. Dale has been devastated. But at what cost has it been devastated? I mean, the Eastlings had so many men that went in here and not many of them are coming out. Look at this, the supply barrels. What are they doing here? It's not like you're supplying anyone now. They're all dead. Hopefully, the Eastlings can use their cavalry advantages to surround some units of the dwarves and, uh, and then attack. The dwarves are actually falling back on an even tighter circle. Which is uh, a bit of cowardly since they probably have the advantage now it being pretty even. They have a 600 man disadvantage but they're dwarves, they're used to it. Um, yeah, the general units over here is hiding in the Lonely Mountain. We've got pikes here defending this choke point. This is uh, certainly going to be a stern defense. But, like, there's so many lines of defense for the infantry. Carpels... Uh, shooting as well. But I hope you guys have survived this long. Uh, it is a long battle, like I said. I do apologise, but it has got a lot of different stages to it. But it is an epic battle. So, um, I hope you guys have all been enjoying. And I hope you've not run out of snacks and drinks yet. You've still got a little bit of this battle left to go. As I just look over what's left of the dwarves. I mean, it's not much. I mean, it's just as much as the Eastlings, really. They've got some fresh units of the Eastlings, but... Uh, most of them are pretty beaten up. I mean, it's looking like Loki Rim left. Uh, Loki Rim are looking really good. I mean, they've got Halberd ears left as well. But when these uh, units from Dale arrive, this will certainly help. Assault. Whenever, whenever they arrive. But do you think the dwarves have it in them to defeat this army of Eastlings? I I mean, I, I know what happens. I've played this battle. <laughs> so I know what happens. But do you think they can do it? It is a last stand. They've got plenty of pikes. Sadly, they've got three units of pikes left. They've got plenty of uh, elite units as well. 
was pretty balanced. They got minus 10 on the morale because of settlement damage. But we will see what happens in a moment. And they have ammo left on their crossbows. Which are barely beaten up. I mean, like, look at these guys. I mean, where, there was a crossbow unit somewhere. Um, I can't actually remember where it is. Oh, it's here, I think. This is it. 96, they're down to. After getting Hours. focused down, these guys are just still only down to 96. It shows how insanely good the armor is for these guys. Orders have been given for uh, the attacks on the dwarves, and there you go. They've just been told to come back. We're not quite ready. Not quite ready. Unit's been focused down. Uh, another barrack footman the unit breaking there. The it's a sad sight, but I mean, this is a pretty big Eastling army now. And in goes the first unit, it's a small unit of archers. Oh, poor men. Imagine being one of these archers, just going in. You know you're going to die. You're hitting an entire line of dwarves, a fresh line. The dwarves are coming forward a bit. Because in, in history, the dwarves do sally out. So we're like, well, you should really do the attacking. But they refuse to do so, which is a bit cowardice of them. They really should have come out and attacked. They had the advantage. The balance power is even, which is in theory an advantage of the dwarves. The dwarves need it to be in their disadvantage to give them actually a challenge. Because they're goddamn OP in this in this mod. And this last stand of the dwarves. Can they manage it? At this point. In uh, the battle in history, or in like fantasy history, uh, Dane and Brand the Second are dead. So it's uh, down to their new leaders, which I'm pretty sure was Thorin Stoneham. That's some in. That's some really good hits. That one was the X, and that one was not so great. But yeah, they're new kings at this point. I mean, they have Thorin the Third Stonehelm, and it's also a uh, king. I think it's King uh, King Bard. I think it's King Bard the Second. Is the uh, King of, uh, the, of of Dale now? But over here, there's a bit of a flank going on. You can see the dwarves. They've seen it. a way to get around. We've got some grim hammers. Got some arable axe uh, warriors. Really need some more units over here for these things. But they've not really got much left to commit. We've got some cavalry. And that's about it. I'm we've tried to get a cavalry around here. So we could attack their crossbows. But to no use really. So we're having to send our units around here. Could possibly get a general kill. I mean it's on the small general army. Or smaller army sorry. That wasn't such a great uh, shot. That's uh, a lot of friendly fire there from the uh, catapult. Not quite sure he's managed that, but hopefully we can have some better ones soon. Like a hit here would be great. Or a hit here would be also great. Anywhere in this front line would be amazing. Get a great hit there. But the cavalry is snuck round. It's coming down. It's going to be very, very close. I mean, let's look at the balance of power. I'd say it's ever so slowly shooting in favor of the dwarves. So this is a bit of a shame. But um, we are sneaking around with the cavalry. King of Behind hit these pikes. Oh, it's a good charge. Good charge. Send the pikes sprawling. 
Unit losing decisively now, or losing slightly. Grim Hammer's trying to chase them off. Now we've got some Loki Rim, some beaten up Loki Rim coming in. Try and hold these guys back. It's Grim Hammers. A real shame. Poor men. Poor, poor men. But we are folks for forcing them back here, but they're now getting a good angle on our uh, units with crossbows, sadly. But we couldn't really just stand here because they were just shooting us anyway, so we thought, why not? Let's engage. We'll risk. R they better risk shooting their own men. But, oh, there we go. An Allies General has fallen. I think that was um, one of the armies that support the, like, the Bane of the Steps General here. Yeah, he's, uh, he's dead, unfortunately. Like, look at these Grim Hammers. They lost seven men, and they got focused down by arrows here. Still are getting focused down. They lost another two, but they barely lost any men. They've lost the whole nine, and they got focused down. We've got catapults shooting in here. We are slowly breaking through over here. This is good. But I mean, it may be too little too late. Maybe too little too late. The dwarves just have so many reserves and we have like nothing. We have some archers and that's it. But even though it looks like the dwarf... Oh, was that... That was an excellent hit. Look at that one. Oh, that one's not so great, but this one here. Really good hit. Now, these things can push through. That was also not a bad hit there at the back. Hitting all these guys here. Really, they're running through the fire. They should also set a light, I feel. Like, you just can't run through fire. Not on. Look at these men. Battling through. Good front line here. So many men bloodied up. Hold them back, men! We must defend the Lonely Mountain! Or I should say, hold them back, dwarves. Oh, another good hit. That is an actually a great hit. Look at them, they're so... They are frozen. Frozen. That's how badly they were hit. Um, There's some... Sell them up more hits here. This one kind of hit them, but really just glanced the unit. But this is a concern. We have uh, Grim Hammers surrounding over here. So this flank's gone. You could probably say the battle is gone. As soon as they've got a flank on us, that is uh, kind of uh, curtains. And you can see over here, this flank is also not looking so great. So it looks like the dwarves and, well, well the dwarves really. Dale is not alive to tell the tale. But the dwarves are going to recreate history. And defend the Lonely Mountain. And they, I guess they can retake Dale. And uh, repopulate it with some sort of men of Dale. Whatever there are. The stragglers that ran away I guess. And the East things will be pushed back by the looks of it. Let's watch the epic last stand. As these men get encircled ever so slowly. Oh. I do apologise. But pikes are flanking around, they're getting now flanky pokey pokies. It's not looking good. And then we got, yeah, the Grim Hammers are behind. Look at this. And then a, an army has entirely been routed. I think that's uh, the army that attacked here. Front on the first one. My army's still alive. And the army that attacked Dale, there's ever so slightly bits of it left. It's just some low key rim arches, really. But I'm actually surprised the last one to survive. I thought I committed most of my army in that frontal assault. Along with my ally. Um, but I've managed to survive the longest. Even though I've probably been engaged. Well not the longest I'd say. Because that will probably be the army that attacked Dale. Because we had a big break. But my uh, my army's just been attacked in this front line. Um, a bit of a shame the dwarves didn't attack. Like a bit more. We did charged in. They didn't really charge in properly. Um, which is kind of what we agreed to. 
and they didn't really keep their side of the bargain, the, the traitors, the cowards. But um, it's still turning out to be a pretty good battle. Very, fairly close. I mean, the dwarves are pretty hard to kill. But we've, we've killed a lot of them. Basically, one entire army. And there you go, a valiant defeat. Uh, so it does seem like the Eastlings will be forced back into their lands in the east. And Dale and Erebor will last one more day. So I'd like to thank everyone that took part in this battle. I'd like to thank Gandalf, Boris, Executioner, Carpenter and Aiden who all took part. Uh, appreciate all the support um, in recreating this battle. And it took a lot of time, I know. Um, and they also know how long it took. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was a long, grindy battle. And uh, yeah, fully appreciate it. But yeah, so we'll quickly look at the army. So uh, my army... I mean, did okay. I got 92 kills to my honor. 278 with my uh, Bane of the Steps. And six, uh, 600. That would be very good. 168 with my Varig Lances. My Loki Rim Halberdier is not doing so great. Only getting like 20 kills each. My Loki Rim, not doing great either. But this is what happens. It's supposed to be really good at Eastlings. But against Dwarves, it's just not really the case. Um, so I did pretty mediocre. Gandalf, who was attacking da Dale. Um, he, his Varig Warrior is getting 220 kills. Not bad at all. His Loki Rim getting 144. Four, uh, four. His orange getting 87. And his archers did okay as well, getting like 60 odd kills. Um, which is not terrible at all. Then Boris, who was attacking the uh, front line with me, 205 kills with his Bane of the Steps. 132 with his low key rim halberdiers. And his cavalry uh, did okay, getting 90 kills each. And his uh, low key rim getting 160 kills, which is not awful either. He got 134 actually with his low key rim archers. He's probably the best out of any of the players that were playing the Eastlings. Dale, 181 kills with his general, his Vinland guards, excellent. Dalian swords, 146. Um, and his spear, oh no, they're more swords. Um, his spear guard getting 153, not bad at all. His pikes got focused down and just died. Barding's 367, wow, and 226. And his marksman of Dale, 243. He wasn't supposed to bring this many archers of this elite caliber, he was supposed to bring some lower tier ones. Um, but sadly, that didn't happen. But it still balanced out pretty well. Uh, the Carpenter who's playing as the reserve Erebor army. 199 with his Grim Hammers. Um, and 198 with his Erebor Axe Warriors. Um, his other Grim Hammers getting 121. His uh, Pike's getting 142. And his Crossbow's getting 177. Aiden who's playing as the first Erebor army. Um, getting 166 with his General. 181 with his Axe Warriors. Um, his Pike's getting 100. Um, no, two and sorry, two hundred and three. His uh, these aren't these pikes. These are spear iron guards. One hundred and thirty-seven, and his crossbows only getting ninety-four. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Um, it was a really, really good battle. If you want to see any other scenario battles for Lord of the Rings or any other Total War, please do leave them down in the comments. I do appreciate all the suggestions. Also, do please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see more. Uh, Lord of the Rings action. Also remember to hit the bell so you are notified when new videos come out. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys later.